A writer writes in, Read, how do you be clear that you are poly when you're dating if you've decided not to come out as poly for the sake of your kids or because of work? How do you do it? I'm Ian Malcolm from readaboutsex.com and this is... Stella Harris from StellaHarris.net. Woohoo! You got an answer for that? Um, I have a few ideas. Yeah. Um, I talk to people a lot about dating and one of the things that comes up a lot is when someone should put what they consider their deal breakers out there. And so for a lot of people, Polly could be one of their deal breakers. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that when folks are deciding who to date, that's something that they're filtering on. So it can be a little tricky if you can't just have, you know, the first line of your online dating app say, oh, I'm Polly, because you maybe don't want your friends and coworkers to see that. And so then you have to decide how to have those conversations. Mm. You can set yourself up for a better chance of success by filtering for the people that you are asking out, knowing that they are already interested in open relationships or polyamory, and then try to have those conversations early-ish. You know, have it when you're chatting with someone online. Have the conversations in the first date or two to make sure that the other person isn't being misled at all. They know what they're getting into. They know what you're interested in. Um, I find that that is usually really helpful in the first few dates anyway. Some people have things that are really important to them. If they're looking for marriage, if they're looking for kids, or if they're in an open relationship and are definitely not looking for those things, that stuff you want to align relatively early on so you don't have someone getting invested and then getting their feelings hurt mm -hmm. later on. Yeah, I like your, your bit about like if, you're, if you can't have it on your dating profile, you can be searching for the people who do have it on their profiles. Mm -hmm. And then as you message them, let them know, hey, just so you know, I'm Polly. It's not on my profile for these reasons. Um, and uh, would you be interested in discussing further? Absolutely. I mean, that's what it's all about is starting those conversations. It's all about filtering and it's not going to be for everybody. And that's okay too. And if uh, you're familiar with my dating, date your species idea, um, I'm a huge believer in <clears throat> it's probably better to scare people away sooner hmm. than later, especially if they feel like you were, you were misleading them or something like that. Yeah. I like to put all my deal breakers out there. I don't want to have three or four dates and get my hopes up or get attached to someone only to find out something's not going to work or they're not into, you know, substantial things about me. If you want to find out more about Stella, like in a non dating way, <laughs> go to StellaHarris.net um, and check out, uh, Stella has a really good resource uh, part on her website and also for coaching and, and other uh, advice, advicey things. That's true. Yeah, thanks for being here. <laughs> thanks for having me. Leave comments. Bye. Thanks for tuning in, Sex Geek. If you would like to continue with the brain sex, do me a favor and click subscribe right here. If you'd like to watch me on social media, that's where you're going to go. Next video, maybe? And if you really would like your own Sex Geek t-shirt, please click right here, right now. Boop. No, no, really, like... <laughs>